All right, let's talk backpacks and how I got to my decision on which backpack I'm going to use on the Appalachian Trail. Um, back when I first decided I was going to hike the Appalachian Trail, um, I was using a Gregory Zulu 65, which is a big, you know, traditional heavy backpack. Probably weighs four and a half pounds, but hey, I was able to carry that, and it carried the weight that I carry that I used at that time because, you know. I had never even heard of ultralight. I just went and used, you know, whatever I was taught to use, you know, big mess kits and, you know, heavy food and stuff like that. And and this is back in the days of the self-inflating pads and everything. So, <clears throat> yeah, my pack probably weighed, I think the first time I did the Wind River um, with that Zulu 65, um, my pack had to have weighed 48 pounds, I believe, total with the, with the seven days for the food and everything too. So. But, you know, but it carried the weight well. It carried the weight fantastic. Um, never had a problem with that pack. And then, then the last few years, I've been hiking with a um, Gregory Optic. You know, went kind of got a little bit lighter when the Gregory Optic was a fantastic pack, too. I still got it. It's the one I use every day. I got 30 pounds in that thing. That's what I use um, every day for my training hikes. I took my new pack out and tested it and, and decided that that's the one I was going to go with. But the reason I don't do that, use that on a daily basis, I just don't want to put the, the wear and tear on it. I got another two and a half a month of training before I get out there. So I don't really want to um, put that kind of usage on my pack. So it's just it's sitting in, sitting on the sidelines waiting right now. Um, so when I, like I said, when I first started researching about doing the trail, I, I knew I wanted to get lighter. 48 pounds wasn't going to cut it. So the first pack that I looked at after doing some research, watching videos and everything else was uh, a <clears throat> Granite Gear Crown, two, Crown 60, Crown 260? Yeah, Crown 260. Um, nice pack, really nice pack. I mean, it's very well built. Um, I like most of the things about it. The only things that I didn't like about it was uh, very little padding in the shoulder straps and they're kind of narrow so they did hurt my when you get it around a 30 pound mark i took it into the sawtooth a couple times when you get around the 30 pound mark um it does you know bite a little bit not too bad but it does bite a little bit and the other thing was when you get it fully packed this pack on the inside the side pockets and the back stretchy pocket has very little room in it it's hard to put anything in the thing so while uh, watching other hikers um, do the trail and seeing you know how important it was to have a water resistant pack. I decided to start looking again for for another pack, and then I come across a company um, called Superior Wilderness Designs. One of the things I like about their packs was they're very um, modular. I guess you put one way to put it. Um, Customizable, probably the best way to put it. You can. There's a lot of things you can do. You can get the standard pack, and there's a lot of customizations that you can do with the pack. So I got the Superior World in this designs. Rugged, long haul, 50 liter, and um, I got it with the side compression straps because I like to be able to pull it down to the side instead of rolling it up and snapping it at the top. I also got it with what they call a Milo pocket, so it's got a second lightweight like pocket in the top half here. Um, it's really nice for keeping my um, bathroom kit, um, little things like that, really handy during the day. And this pocket stretches amazes a lot. You can put a lot of stuff in here. When you get this pack fully packed, you still got a lot of room back here. The side pockets are very big. The whole, the main pack's made out of VX21. Side pockets in the bottom made out of VX42, I believe. So it's a really, really strong pack. Um, doesn't weigh that much. I think I got it weighs about 30, 38 ounces total. The way I got it sitting right now, I didn't get the extra side pockets or the not included side pockets. Uh, both of those, I'm glad I did. I mean, I love side pockets, so I'm not one of those people. And um, overall, this pack is extremely comfortable. I mean, I took this thing out in the Wind Rivers this year, uh, in the Sawtooth this year, and also in the Grand Tetons. And this pack performed very admirable. I mean, I had 32 pounds in it most times, 32 pounds in a Wind River, probably about 30 pounds in a Sawtooth, and about 28 pounds when we went in, into the uh, Grand Tetons. 
but very comfortable. I mean, I just absolutely love this pack. The problem with the pack is the bottom is very narrow, the way it's built. So with my winter kit for the AT, I couldn't get my winter quilt in here without it sitting all the way down. I mean, I probably could have if I stuffed it in without a stuff sack, but I like to have a um, liner bag and then a stuff sack inside the liner bag. I want to keep my sleeping bag and my sleeping gear, my clothes and everything else um, dry at all costs. I do not want it to get wet. So that's just my system and I'm going to stick with it. But anyway, I couldn't get the, I couldn't get everything in this pack and be able to get more than one roll, maybe two rolls on the top. And I really love to have three rolls, which is kind of the standard three rolls before I sit you down on top. And that's with putting quite a bit of stuff at the external pockets as well. Um, the only thing I don't like to do, and I, I do not like to hang stuff off my pack at all. It drives me crazy. So I needed something that for my winter gear to get the entire thing in. The other thing that bothers me about this pack, even though I love this pack, is I wish I had gone now. I got the dual adjust dust adjust straps. Terrible. And... Uh, I don't really like them now that I got them on there. I wish I'd gotten a single adjust strap. And I'd wish, and these these uh, straps also are extremely short. I mean, I've had many packs, many, many packs. I've never had a pack that I could not adjust then when I, once I put it on. You know, I'm not a small person, I know that. Um, but I've never had a pack that I could not adjust a waist belt on. And, I, and this one is real hard right now, you can see. I mean, that's the max I can get it um, get it on any of my, my trips. The same way, it's the exact same thing with the shoulder straps. The shoulder straps have very little adjustment on them too as well. Now, you know, I've come down about 47 pounds in the last two years. So it's gotten better as far as, as, far as adjustment goes, but there still isn't a lot of adjustment there. You know, it's getting so I can, uh, I can, I can adjust it better and better as I get smaller and smaller but i just don't know why they made it small one other thing i liked about it also was i love the um load lifters i think they make a difference i really do um i was really bummed with when my new pack i didn't have load lifters on them but um, everything else was a plus so but anyway i love this pack absolutely love it love it love it i'm gonna keep it um i'm gonna be using this most of my you know, shorter trips where I don't have to have a lot of gear, where I, my, my lighter trips. Um, it's a fantastic pack. But anyway, so I started doing some research again, and there was a pack that I liked at the very beginning when I started researching the trail. saw a lot of other people using it, and I thought, well, so many other people are using this pack that there must be something good about it. You know, there, there has to be a reason that so many people are using this pack. So I was lucky enough where I've got a couple of my son and a couple of his friends go backpacking. And one of his friends bought this backpack, not the exact same one, but a, a model of it. And then my son ended up buying that pack for him. So when I decided I had to move on, I had to get something that would fit my winter gear. I went over and I tried on my son's pack. Just, to, you know, the one the biggest thing for me was the adjustment. Could I adjust this thing? Would it, would it fit me? And when I put this pack on, it just fits so beautifully. And I, I threw about 20 pounds, 25 pounds in this thing. And it fits so beautifully. I'm like, okay, yeah, this is this is the pack I got to go with. So I ended up purchasing it. Like I said, I got a different, little bit different model. But what I ended up with, and like a lot of people have, is I ended up with a Hyperlite Mountain Gear. And this is the um, Junction 3400. And what I like about the 3400 as compared to this, the... Uh, Superior World of Design, the bottom has a lot more room in it. It's not so narrowed down as the, long, as the rugged long haul Superior World of Design pack is. And I'm able to get all my gear in here, my winter gear, really easy. And again, it's got a ton of room on the mesh back here. When you get this thing fully loaded, I still got plenty of room back here, unlike the granite gear. And the side pockets are massive. I love the side pockets on this thing. Now, I will get rid of this strap. I don't know why this strap is here. I've never been a fan of straps that go over the water bottle pocket. Um, if I'm going to hold anything down in a water bottle pocket that, that needs to be cinched down, I'm most likely going to use this strap. Maybe I'll leave the strap on the opposite side because sometimes I'll put a pad in here or I'll put um, 
fishing poles for other when I, other other trips. I, I usually have a ten car rod or something like that in here. You know, maybe I need to, to stitch it down then, but I hate cutting anything off. I really do. I'm not a I'm not a big fan of cutting stuff off. But this one also has a side compression, as you can see, and it comes with a hip belt pockets, which is fantastic. I'm a hip belt pocket person, and I love the. I don't know if this is an inch and a half or two inches, but I love these wider hip belts as compared to the dual adjust little thin hip belts. The only thing I really wish they would do, and a lot of other people complain about it as well, is I really wish they would move the cinch from pulling it out away from your waist to pulling in towards your waist from here. So you can cinch it down, pulling towards. You can cinch down so much easier that way. Trying to pull it the other way is just a, it's a pain in the butt. I can do it, and everybody can do it, but it's just so much nicer. I don't know why they don't, they don't flip that around. Um, one of the other things I added to it was I put a uh, water bottle pocket on. Ever since I've been hiking with this water bottle pocket, I mean, it's a game changer. I love it. Uh, we'll never we'll never hike again without a water bottle pocket. Um, don't have to stop. I can drink on the go. Um, it's very convenient. I buy the smaller one, and I only use 700 milliliter bottles, <clears throat> so it's not sticking high up in my face or anything. It's just down nice and low on my chest. And then I also, this is from Chicken Tramper Ultra Light Gear. Love that company. I got to talk to them last year at PCT Days up in Oregon. And yeah, great guys, and they make great equipment. Um, same thing. I got the Chicken Tramper um, cell phone pocket, and this is I I always keep my cell phone in here. I love the flap to keep from water from getting into it. And then I keep my <clears throat> Garmin inReach down here. It's something that you know a lot of times you don't need an inReach, I guess, but out here in Idaho you do. I mean, you're hiking a lot of times in wilderness areas where you're not getting out in a day or two. And I, we go there a lot of times. So I carry that thing. Um, I will carry it on the AT, too. I mean, I may not need it. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. If I don't, if I find myself not absolutely not needing it, you know, I might get rid of it. But I always carry it with me. Um, don't know what else I can say. I mean, it's a, it's a really nice pack. It carries her well. Like I said, I've, I've taken it out on several hikes now with up to, up close to 30 pounds in it. And it works just fantastic for me, and it fits all my gear in, no problem at all. So that's the that is the backpack that I will be using on the Appalachian Trail. And one thing I also today, or yesterday, last night, I received the 2023 AT guide. Got it broken up into three bags. All three different sections have mailed to me, so I got that to go. I have my flights booked. I have my shuttle booked. I have my night at Amicalola Lodge booked. Um, I am ready to go. I got just a couple more things coming in. And once they come in, I'll be able to do a big free video. But in the meantime, I will do a few videos on some of my other selection processes. I've, I've gone through, you know, I made it way too complicated, I guess. Um, sometimes it's just easier to just buy stuff and go. It really is. When you got too much time to think about it, and I've had about four years to do this now. Um, when you got too much time to think about it, it it seems like you know everything gets in the way. There's always there's never the there's never the perfect product. You're always in search for the perfect product. And and when I get to um, shoes and gloves and hats and all that kind of stuff, um, tents, um, you'll see what I mean. That I may I may overthought the process just a little bit, but I'm really happy with where I'm at now and and the gear I have. It's been well tested. I've gone on a lot of trips. So thanks for watching. Um, if anybody's got any questions, I'd, I'd be very, very glad to answer them and uh, see you guys on the trail. Thanks a lot.